Here we go. Sid, you're calling. I'm calling. <clears throat> Bruh. Okay, here we go. This part is always like this. Yeah, it always wait, is. Wait, wait, wait. Just oh, don't, don't, fine, fine. don't respawn. That's it. If you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pl please don't. Poof! I found my calling as an actual healer. He fucking disappeared through the wall. No big deal. I'm going first. Y'all melee nerds can go first. <laughs> you remember when when Sid crashed? Right oh my there? god! Don't bring that up. Me. I'm gonna be Hokage. Hey everyone. It's been a while. Sid here, and I'm here to help you with the new mutations. Now, I know I'm a little late with this one. They came out on Tuesday, and I'm making this a little late. Uh, but thing is, I had to get through the content. Because I had to get through the content, and I had to get a group going, it, it took me a little bit of time. I wanted to really test some things out and see what's going on. And I also want to show you what I am doing with the tank build that I created. Um, if you want to check out that tank build, uh, I'll throw it in the description or I'll also put it as a card so you can see that uh, as well. What can we do to save some time in Lazarus as a tank or as a group? There are a few things that I found that could help out your group and you as a tank. One of the things is, yes, as a tank, you still are taking out your hammer a lot. Um, this is where trenchant recovery from my build comes in handy. Explosive. Ow! Trenchant recovery coming in handy! That was me, you dingus. Well, I'm getting the trenchant oh, recovery oh, as well. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. My God. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Sid can't even be, be excited about his trenchant recovery. I know, I can't. No, I, I'm, I'm not a real tank. Fancy. I'm a bad tank. Nothing I have is, is me. <laughs> it's always know. everyone <laughs> else. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you said it right after I healed you for like 4,000. I, I like, wow. just stretch it recovery, 3k health. Trench it recovery allows you to kind of heal through a lot of the fire damage and things like that. As long as your healer is getting their sacred ground and beacon on you, trench it recovery on your, the hammer is enough to keep you alive through some of those ads. It works great. However, the only bad thing is you're probably going to have to roll them. And rolling a 600 trenchant recovery hammer has been a pain. If I showed you mine, it's it's it was a 598 purple that I upgraded to past 600. I couldn't, I didn't want to waste time rolling, so I used umbral shards. Way too many umbral shards to get that past 600. My sword and shield is exactly the same. Um, there's a few things that I changed here, but again, the goal has always been 300 con, 200 strength, and that's all I did. It's I changed just a couple things to make sure I could get that, uh, plus some good perks. The first mechanic I want to talk about to help the whole team is uh, the one that we saved time on. It was the named boss before opening up the door right before Scylla, you know, where you wash your hands and cleanse your balls a little bit. Like, pull them mode. back, pull them back. We're gonna kill yeah. these before we do all the big oh, Yeah, pull. he's an explosive. Yep, yeah, don't go up, don't go up. Hit him from the front, hit him from the front. We don't want to pull the boss yet. Hit him from the front, yeah. Little Troy X. Fancy. All right. Nobody asked right. your opinion. Damn. <laughs> Damn. So fancy You're... I messed up twice. <laughs> You're fine, Vic. Apparently, I messed up all the time, according to Troy. We got, <laughs> we got both of them. The boss is reset. Yup. That's <laughs> what I said, and I meant, meant it maliciously. Maliciously, with full evil intent, backed by Marauder Honor. <laughs> okay, here, here, here he goes. Here he goes. Oh, man. He forgot he's a Marauder now. What oh, yeah. honor. I'm what so honor. Bad. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. What honor. That name boss that can one hit people, a lot of people have problems with it because that AoE hit that roots you and it can root you in a fire. One thing we decide to do because the adds and the archers are a big problem is we pull them outside of that room. We make sure to get them away from that boss and the boss can reset. This way we can kill all of the archers and adds away from the boss and then we can solo the boss. Time all your right, stuns, time team. your stuns. That's one stun. What? That's another stun. Back off, back off. Wow. I'm an idiot. It's okay. It's okay. Idiot. Take it. Destroyed. Take it for a second. Just. Oh no. shit. This doesn't mean we're free from the roots and the fire, but at least we're free from all the ads, and our healer can stick away a little bit. This next spot where we save time, this next mechanic is when you get to the gated section. You know that part where there's three rooms, and someone has to step on each of the platforms, and waves come up. You go. McLean and Troy go together. Yeah, yeah. Go to the, the this one here. Here, McLean. Can I take back one? Well, we've thought about this for a while, and we've done like one, three, one, and uh, 
like a two, two, one. We found out the best thing to do is for the tank to solo the middle room. This is because there's a lot of ads, but you can sit behind your shield. I will just survive until you get in here. That is my job. You're good. You're, you're, you're good. I have a lot of con. Y'all are scaring me. When you sit behind your shield, this gives the other two rooms that have a limited amount of waves. I believe it's only three waves of enemies per uh, each of those side rooms. They can come into the main room a lot quicker. That's what you want. So your job as a tank is to survive in the solo room in the middle. Stay behind your shield. You don't have to kill anything. All you have to do is survive. And then let the other people do their thing. We passed the minute mark. That's a 50 DKP minus. Alright. We're open. <sighs> Alright, get mean, that archer help. for me first if you could. Yeah. When you finish with those wave rooms, there's another way to save a little bit of time and make things easier. The next room has two named bosses in it. And with mutations, especially with this last mutation, the amount of fire and slicers that can come up, or just the fire itself, is, is kind of a lot. And holding the aggro on both the range name boss and the melee name boss as a tank, it's a little rough. This is where Path of Destiny comes in handy. Now, can a healer or a range person do this? Yes, but we tried. It's, it's a little finicky. So I'm going to show you as a tank how you can pull one mob, and this is the room you're going to pull them into. Seven seconds. Seven seconds. Three, I'm going on ahead. Three seconds. It's done. You guys good? You guys good? Yeah. Yeah, we good. Well, I should have only grabbed this one. Okay. After taking down those two named bosses, the archer and the shield dude, having one of your DPS see when the boss, is, the name boss is about to go down to go open the door saves you some time. And when you're there, this is when the cool part happens. Run through all of the mobs. Make sure to hit the shrine, but run through all of the mobs. Stay as a group, and when you run through them, you can fight them on the balcony or you can fight them in the first room. This just clumps them all together. Be careful, there are some explosions, but this saves you a lot of time instead of going one by one by one. Just Is the Lazlo good? Yes. Yes. I just Max got it legendary, him. I think. Yes. Yo, I'm jealous. Go, 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 go. Me, Push it to mm -hmm. the limit. Push it, Push it to, to the limit. Push and a push. And look, we get another uh, respawn available. Yerp. I'll pull it up a little bit further. Wow. Ooh, McGlown, I saw that. Ow. Don't slap me like like I was... Oh god, I have all the aggro right now. Oh. Let's try to move back a little, a little bit here. I am. I am. Just... I have, Gathering uh... them up. As you know. Tank stuff. <laughs> you sound so pressed. I know. A little bit. I, I know. This shit good. ain't easy. I think you take me for granted. Double oblivion. <laughs> he said tank stuff. <laughs> After that, really all I have for you left is on the last boss. If you're the tank and you have aggro and you're the one getting lasered, Always go to your left and then your right with the laser. The, the boss will always take out the left side and then the right side. This allows the DPS to just get the two orbs in the beginning and then completely forget about it and keep DPSing. Here he comes. I'm coming down. <laughs> just in general, mutation frequency is better for uh, drops. The only thing I have to worry about is if your DPS is too high. You know that little sigil chevron? I don't know how to, like, uh, b b uh, V. You know the V that has the 66 under the boss's name? You know how it has those, like, four gold bars to the left of it? If you pass that, that gold bar right next to the 66 on the left side, you're skipping phase two. You don't get to have the boss drop down again and get that extra damage. That can actually harm your time. So doing too good can actually harm you. Just remember that. Sid, Very close, faith. Though. Go back to being optimistic. I don't All right, I have faith. I have faith. I have faith. There we I go. There we go. Now you got faith because at the last second. I know, right? <laughs> I got faith. Now he's like, he's like, I see it. I, I see it. I see it. Complete. 
How much did we get minus? I didn't know. It was before. It was before it. Didn't it. Come up you didn't yet. fall yet. Way more. Nancy, have you been putting healing circles before. on or not? No, I've just been healing you with Void Gauntlet. Man, I was wondering why my health never made it back up to full health. Like, <laughs> fancy out here trying to DPS. See, I, I said that last time. Fancy got mad at me.